So today we're going to show you how to install a fascia panel on a mini four-way cassette. It'll be the same process for the mini four-way and the regular four-way cassette, the three by three. The fascia panel will come to you shipped like this. We'll go ahead and take it out of the wrapping. Take note of the instruction manual and the installation bolts. Always inspect the wiring for the four cables. Make sure that they are routed and tucked into their position so that they do not get pinched when installing the fascia panel onto the unit. Now we're going to go ahead and install this panel into the unit. If you take note, there's two clips on either side of the fascia panel and the wire orientation. We'll remove the cover, which has already been done on this unit, to access the control board to plug these in. Open the cover of the unit first. Line those covers up, those hooks. And that shall hold it in place while we screw it on. Make sure the wires didn't get pinched in anything. And then with the four bolts, you'll want to remove the four corners of the fascia panel. To access those bolt locations, And you just want to start each one of these. You don't want to fully tighten them down until all four are started. So just a few to start it. And then evenly go around and attach each bolt and slowly draw it up. If you draw one up the whole way, you could potentially crack the fascia panel. So you'll want to go around after all the four bolts are started. Give a couple turns on each one, slowly drawing it up till you have the proper gap the whole way around the unit. This will securely fasten the fascia panel to the ceiling. You want to make sure it's nice and tight with no air infiltration. So in case it's above a uh, unconditioned space, no air can get in and cause condensation. Once the bolt are installed properly, go ahead and put your uh, fascia covers, corners back in place. The one that has the display, you want to make sure that you don't pinch any of the wires when installing that. And then we're going to go ahead and plug up our four wires. The first one is going to be for the display. It's a 13 white pin connector and it's going to plug right into the display location on the board. Then we got two louver connectors. Again, they are going to be color coded. They can only go in one place on each of the boards. First, you'll start with either the white or the blue. Make sure they both get plugged in. And then since this is a wind free, it's going to have a humidity sensor. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in as well. And again, that is a white four pin connector. Can only go into one spot on the control board. Once it's in there, we're going to go ahead and route these wires up out of the way. Get them tucked in there. And then we're going to replace the uh, electrical box cover. And then close the fascia panel. Again, making sure none of the wires are pinched. And then you want to take one edge of it, attach the clips, just press it in place. That's how you install the fascia panel. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com 
or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. Thank you.